CEO here, and today I'll be showing you 32 things you can do every day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I know many people just got New Horizons for the holidays, and you may be getting bored and be wondering what to do in the game. If that describes you, then this video is for you. New Horizons, I feel, is the best Animal Crossing game, so I want to make sure you are getting the most out of this amazing game. Sometimes, there is so much to do in Animal Crossing that it can get overwhelming, and lots of gameplay features are not always straightforward. So this video will go over all of the daily activities you can do to make progress in the game and develop your Island. Before we get started, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post more Animal Crossing YouTube videos. I also have a Twitch channel where I live stream playing Animal Crossing and I would love to chat with you over there when I'm live. The link to my Twitch is in the description down below. Now let's get into the video. The first thing you can do in your Animal Crossing game is check Nook's Cranny. Nook's Cranny has a rotating daily selection of items, so definitely check it every day to see what's new to buy. If you are into fashion, also be sure to check the Able Sisters shop every day as well. The items in the Able shop rotate daily and weekly, so there's always something new to look at and to possibly buy. Ables also carry seasonal clothing, so if you're just starting to play Animal Crossing again after a few months, be sure to check Ables to see what new seasonal clothing is for sale for you to buy and to wear. Each month on your island, there are different river, pond, and ocean fish for you to catch. Definitely break out your fishing rod daily to catch some of the new fish in order to fill up your Critropedia or to donate to Blathers to complete your museum. You can even sell fish for a nice profit if you are looking to make some extra bells. If you have three of the same fish, you can give them to CJ when he is visiting your island to have a model of that fish made for you. New bugs also appear on your island every month, so you can take some time each day to go bug hunting to fill up your Critterpedia and donate them to Blathers to fill up the bug section of your museum. If you have three of the same bug, you can give them to Flick when he is visiting to have a model of that bug made for you. Another activity you can do every day is go deep sea diving for sea creatures. New deep sea creatures will be in your ocean every month, so you can use this opportunity to fill up your Critterpedia even more and donate the creatures to Blathers for your museum. Note that you will need a wetsuit in order to go deep sea diving, but luckily these are easy to purchase in Nook's Cranny using Bells or from the Nook Stop in Resident Services using Nook Miles. If you love to grow and breed flowers, make sure to water your flowers every day. Doing this increases your chances for hybrid flowers to spawn. So if you are trying to breed a specific color of flower, be sure to water every day to have the best odds. Even if it rains or snows, which does water your flowers, watering your flowers with a watering can helps your hybrid flower odds even more. Watering also makes your flowers sparkle and shine. To collect wood for DIY projects, Hit your trees every day with a dull axe to spawn wood. If you use a stone or flimsy axe instead of a normal axe, you won't chop down your trees and you can use the same trees over and over to collect wood. You can also spawn three pieces of wood if you use a sharp axe, but that will result in you chopping down your tree. Also be sure to watch out for bees. If you have fruit growing on your trees on your island, be sure to shake those trees daily to harvest the fruit. Fruit can be used for DIY projects, gifted to villagers, planted to grow more trees, and eaten to get super strength in order to dig up trees and break rocks. Once the fruit is shaken off the trees, the trees will spawn more fruit after three days. So to maximize your fruit yield, be sure to shake the fruit off your trees to allow another batch of fruit to spawn. Another task you can do daily is to shake trees to spawn tree branches. Tree branches fall from certain trees and are primarily used as crafting materials for a variety of DIY projects. Tree branches easily fall from fruit, hardwood, and cedar trees. Tree branches do not fall from decorated cedar trees or coconut trees. If you are getting lonely on your island, talk to all of your villagers. Villagers love to chat with you daily and may even teach you a new reaction or give you a present when you talk to them. Talking to your villagers also helps increase friendship points, which is important if you are trying to get their villager photo. You can also give your villagers a present when you talk to them, which will help with friendship points. If you give them a piece of clothing, your villager may even want to try it on right then and there. If you're having trouble finding a certain villager, 
be sure to check the plaza, in front of their house, in their house, in both shops, and in the museum. It always seems your villagers love to hide, especially when you are looking for them. Another task you can do every day is check your plaza to see if any special characters are visiting. Kix, LaBelle, Leaf, and KK Slider are some of the special characters that visit your island and set up shop in the main plaza. It is easy to overlook doing this if you don't walk by your plaza often. So if you are trying to buy some cool shoes from Kix, want to catch a KK concert, or want to buy some pumpkins from Leaf, be sure to check your plaza daily. While you're in the plaza, also check your message board. A little yellow bird will appear on top of the board during the day if you have a new message. At night, a little owl will appear instead. If Tom Nook is upgrading a shop, that announcement will appear on your board. Villager birthdays are also announced on the board. All special holidays will also be announced here. If you had any visitors over on your island, they may have left you a personalized note on your board as well. If you like shopping, be sure to check Nook Shopping either in your Nook Stop in Resident Services or with the Nook Shopping app on your Nook phone. Nook Shopping has a daily rotating selection of items. Any seasonal items that are available to buy will also be in Nook Shopping under the Seasonal tab. Seasonal items are only available for a limited time, so be sure to buy any seasonal items you like before the season is over. Who doesn't like getting mail? Be sure to check your mailbox daily to see if you received any new presents or letters. Special characters such as Red, Gulliver, Gullivar, and Flick will send you presents in the mail if you interacted with them the previous day. Any items you buy from Nook Shopping will also be sent to your mailbox. The Bank of Nook and the Happy Home Academy will frequently send you letters as well. You can also receive presents from your virtual mom, your island villagers, and from your friends. Be sure to clear out old mail from your mailbox in order to keep free space for new letters to arrive. If you like the beach, Check your shores every day for seashells. You can collect shells and use them for decoration, and they come in handy for various shell and mermaid DIYs that use them as crafting materials. Shells do spawn on your beaches throughout the day, so if you are looking for a particular shell, check throughout the day to see if one washes up on your beach. Trying to get a certain seasonal DIY? or just like shooting things down with a slingshot? Then be sure to shoot down any balloons you see flying over your island daily. Presents from balloons can contain special seasonal DIYs, crafting materials, random items, and bells. I have an entire video about how to farm balloons if you are interested, and a card will pop up now that will take you to that video. If you like to play during the nighttime, definitely look around your island every night to see if Celeste or Wisp are visiting. On some nights, they may even both be on your island at the same time. Celeste hands out special celestial and zodiac DIYs, so if you are trying to collect those, I highly recommend looking for her every night. You can only get one Celeste DIY per visit, which makes collecting these DIYs even harder. I will be making a video showing a trick to get more Celeste DIYs, so be on the lookout for that. Wisp is another nighttime character who gives you a random item when you find all of his spirit pieces. If you find Wisp and talk to him, he will get scared and split into five pieces. After you search your entire island looking for the pieces and bring them back to Wisp, he will give you a random item. Two more special characters you can look for daily are Gulliver and Gullivar. These are the same character with different theming. Gulliver will wash up on your beach and ask for help looking for his communicator pieces. You will then need to dig up spots on the beach that spurt out water to find the pieces buried in the sand. Once you find all five pieces and bring them back to Gulliver, he will be able to fix his phone and will send you an international present in the mail the next day. Gullivar is the pirate version of Gulliver who will also wash up on your beach, but this time, Gullivar will have lost his phone in the ocean. It is up to you to put on a wetsuit and go deep sea diving to find his phone. Usually the first or second air bubbles you find in the ocean will be the phone. Once you bring back the phone to Gullivar, he will send you a pirate themed present the next day in the mail. If you are an art connoisseur and want to fill up the art section of your museum, definitely check your secret beach every day for Red. Red will be selling real and fake art so I recommend using an online guide to determine which pieces he is selling are real, 
since the museum only accepts real pieces of art. I personally also buy fake art sometimes if I know I will have a use for it other than for the museum. Red also sells color variations of normal items that your nook's cranny does not carry, so be sure to check out that selection as well. If you do buy art from Red, he will send you the piece in the mail the next day. If you are looking to move in a new villager, check your campsite every day to see if someone is visiting. Isabel will also announce in her daily announcement if someone is staying at the campsite. When you scan in an amiibo card, the villager will also stay in the campsite. Any random campsite visitor will only be on your island for one day, so if you want them to move in, be sure to do it on the current day. If you go to the next day, the campsite villager will be gone. Getting bored of your current outfit? Change your look daily with a wardrobe, refrigerator, or bug cage. Animal Crossing has so many options for clothing, shoes, and accessories, so definitely collect pieces you like in order to put together outfits and show off your personal style. Changing your outfit in Animal Crossing has never been easier, and a wardrobe lets you preview any outfit before confirming it. You can even change your outfit as many times as you want. So be creative and let your unique style shine. If you have Nintendo Online, you can visit a dream address. All you have to do is lay down in a bed in your house and choose to go to sleep. When you enter the dream world, you can look up a dream address, visit a previous dream, or visit a random island. The dream suite basically allows you to visit someone else's island remotely. When you visit an island, no changes you make such as shaking trees or picking flowers, will be saved. So it's a safer alternative for users to show off their islands to other players. Dream islands are a great way to get inspiration for your island and to see the creativity of other players. Each day, you can hit your rocks with a shovel or ax to spawn rocks, iron, clay, and sometimes gold. You have six rocks on your island you can hit and each rock can spawn eight materials. If you set up a barrier, you can hit the rocks continuously, like I am in the video, to get the max amount of eight materials per rock. If you pause while hitting your rocks or miss one of your hits, you will still spawn some materials, but you may not get all eight. If you are working towards getting a five-star island or just want to do some landscaping, Plant some trees. Trees not only add interest to your island, but they provide crafting materials such as branches, wood, fruit, and wasp nests. Another landscaping feature you can plant every day are bushes. Bushes spawn flowers in certain seasons and can act as a barrier or fencing if you plant a bunch close together. Bushes can only be bought from Leaf when he visits your island, so be sure to stock up if you know you want to plant many bushes. Flowers are another wonderful landscaping item that you can plant every day. They can be bought from Nook's Cranny and Leaf and have a complex hybrid breeding system that is fun to delve into if you want to challenge yourself to a statistics game and if you want to breed colors of flowers that you cannot buy. As a Nook Miles Plus member, you will earn Nook Miles for doing activities around your island, including all the activities I have already mentioned in this video. To collect these Nook Miles, you must go into the Nook Miles app on your Nook phone, press the plus button, and collect any miles for tasks you have completed. Once you collect your miles, new tasks will appear to take the place of tasks you have already completed. This is a great way to earn Nook Miles simply for playing the game. Once you have 2,000 Nook Miles saved up, you can redeem a Nook Miles ticket from the Nook Stop kiosk in Resident Services. A Nook Mile ticket can be used to go to a mystery island to collect resources or for villager hunting if you have an empty plot. Nook Mile tickets are also a major currency used in online trading between players for items and villagers. Now that you have redeemed a Nook Mile ticket, you can use it to visit a mystery island. Just talk to Orville in the airport with the ticket in your pockets and ask to use your Nook Mile ticket. Once you get to the island, you can farm crafting materials, look for a DIY in a bottle, and catch fish and bugs. A mystery island will also have a villager on it if you have an empty plot on your main island. You can go to as many mystery islands as tickets you have, and you can go daily. If you like to decorate inside rooms, or you are curious how I make my speed build videos, you can visit Harv's Island. If you have ever played Happy Home Designer, Harv's Island is basically a mini version of that game. On Harv's Island, 
There is a house with six rooms that are all the same size. Every item you have ever picked up that is in your catalog, including DIY items and special items you cannot buy with bells, will be available for you to use to decorate the rooms. For items that are customizable with customization boxes, you will be able to customize the items on the spot on Harv's Island without the need for the boxes. You can also spawn in each item into a room an infinite amount of times. You can add your current villagers to the rooms to create scenes and dress them up. If you have any Animal Crossing amiibos, you can also scan them into a room and that character will magically appear. I like to come up with themes for the rooms so I have some sort of direction I am going in when I decorate. Many people do not have a use for Harv's Island, but you can use it to take cute photos with your villagers, play dress up with your villagers, or make speed build videos like I do. Once you are back on your island, you can look for shooting stars at night. Sometimes, Isabel will announce when there will be a meteor shower, and then you can expect to see shooting stars after 8 p.m. But shooting stars can also appear on random nights as well. When you see a shooting star, you can wish on it by pressing A. Wishing on shooting stars is the only way to get star fragments in the game. Star fragments are special crafting materials used to make wands and Celeste DIYs. You can get normal star fragments, large star fragments, and star fragments that correspond to the current zodiac sign for the month you are in. After you wish on shooting stars, make sure to check your beaches the next day and collect all of the fragments that have appeared. And last but not least, every day on your island, you can collect seasonal crafting materials. Right now, in winter on my island, you can collect snowflakes that are floating through the air by catching them with a net. Since it is currently still the festive season, you can also shake decorated cedar trees to spawn ornaments that are used to craft the festive DIYs. I made an entire video going over everything you need to know about collecting ornaments and I will link that down below and a card will pop up now that will take you to that video. Every season, there will be a different seasonal crafting material you can collect that are used to make seasonal DIYs. Seasonal crafting materials are only available during their specific season, so I recommend collecting more than you think you will need, just in case you want to craft a specific seasonal DIY when it is no longer that season. Thank you for watching this video! I hope I gave you some ideas of what to do in your New Horizons game if you are not sure what to do or you are getting bored. I know most people play Animal Crossing for a bit and then come back to the game weeks or months later. There is always something fun to do on your island, but with so many options, it can be hard to remember them all. I hope this video serves as a guide for you so you can get the most out of this incredible game. If you liked this video, please like and don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I post new videos. If you would like to chat with me live and play Animal Crossing together, I have a Twitch channel where I live stream three days a week and play lots of Animal Crossing. The link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.